Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just an announcement. Owners of the following cars should please attend to their cars. One of them has his, the headlight on. GT877719. GT877719. And then GC6322. You may please attend to your car. One of them has its headlight on. Shall we please rise for the procession of council? We will continue to remain standing as we take the opening hymn. Land of our birth, first to third stanzas. Land of our birth, first to third stanzas. Behind the program, please. You may please have your seats. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Chairman of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, 
members of the term board, our invited guests, distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen, our newly qualified medical and dental practitioners. You are welcome to the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council. At this juncture, I have the singular honor to invite the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to give us the call to order and the purpose of gathering. Shall we please welcome the registrar? Thank you very much, Mr. PJ. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. With your leave, Chairman of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, this very special meeting of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council is now called to order. Permit me, respectful chairman, to introduce members of the term board here present to our audience. From the extreme left is Professor of Medicine at the University of Ghana Medical School, currently the Vice President of the Ghana Medical Association. Professor Ernest Nyaku York. He represents the medical doctors on the board. Next to him is a retired banker, a representative of the president on the board Mr. Samuel Ajapon. Next is the Attorney General's representative on the board, Chief State Attorney, Mrs. Stella Otma Bedu. Next is a professor of surgery, dean of the School of Medicine, University of Development Studies, and also a chief. Professor Nana Stephen Tabri, representing the training institutions. <laughs> Chairman, permit me to skip the next two slots. Next is a district director of health services for Asujiman, a physician assistant, and a representative of the physician assistant groups on the board, Miss Rebecca Bante. Next to her is somebody who knows no introduction if you are connected with our healthcare system the former Chief Dental Officer of the Ministry of Health and a representative of the dental surgeons on the board, Dr. Constance Adeyubo. <laughs> the gentleman in all beautiful white is our own Chief Executive Officer for the Ministry, Al Haji. Hafiz Adam, representing the Honorable Minister for Health. He's our Chief Director. Then the gentleman in the golden chain, I think he needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Professor Paul Kwame Nyami, Chairman of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Minister, represented by the Chief Director, Al Haji Afis Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may already be aware, the Medical and Dental Council 
is the statutory agency under the Ministry of Health charged with the responsibility for the professional regulation of doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in Ghana. The object of counsel as provided for under Section 26 of Part 2 of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act of 2013 at 857 is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. In furtherance of its object, the council is mandated to perform, among other things, the following functions. Ensure that pre-registration training of newly qualified doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in accredited training institutions meets the required standards. Compile and keep registers of registered practitioners and prescribe and enforce professional standards and conduct for practitioners. Mr. Chairman, Al-Hajj Hafiz Adam, Chief Director, representing the Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this morning to induct into the profession, our profession, the profession of medicine, 327 doctors and dentists. We are, as always, happy to welcome family and friends in person to this very special historic ceremony. We also welcome our online audience who are watching this event live on our Facebook handle. Ladies and gentlemen, these practitioners that we are going to swear in are drawn from the following institutions. Accra College of Medicine, Accra. Family Health Medical School, Accra. University for Development Studies School of Medicine, Tamale. University of Cape Coast School of Medical Sciences, Cape Coast. University of Ghana Dental School, Accra. University of Ghana Medical School, Accra. And the University of Health and Allied Sciences School of Medicine, who? Mr. Chairman, permit me at this point to address our inductees. You would have had in the course of your training some responsibilities in the care of patients. These patient responsibilities were, however, directly borne by your teachers. Your transition from yesterday's students to professionals today implies that human lives are now being directly entrusted in your care. Dear Indatis, what this means is that from today, a greater responsibility in the care of patients will be laid at your feet as you take the role of frontline professionals. This role literally includes the responsibility to decide between a person who lives and a person who dies. It is therefore important that having met the basic training requirements, the Medical and Dental Council, which supervises your basic training, formally admits you into the profession of medicine registers you and regulates your pre-registration practice commonly referred to as housemanship. You will be eligible for permanent registration only after you have met the pre-registration standards as explained to you yesterday during the pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. Dear inductees, Due to the rapidly changing nature of science, medicine, and technology, as well as the changing professional regulatory landscape, Council now ensures that your registration onto the provisional register involves the open declaration of your commitment to the profession, to science, and society. 
Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point remind you of the shared value of counsel, guiding the professions, protecting the public. Thus, the aforestated and counsel's regulatory focus has been on professional accountability aimed at promoting and protecting public health, safety, and well-being, assuring and maintaining confidence and trust in the profession and its members, promoting and maintaining public confidence in our healthcare system and prescribing and enforcing professional standards and conduct for practitioners. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, in accordance with the above stated focus, I am happy to report that effective 2024 council is being supported by the World Health Organization, our health sector lead, development partner, to among others, develop modalities for the common registration examinations for both local and foreign trade medical and dental practitioners by 2025. To thank you, to institutionalize a compulsory pre-examination clinical attachment for all foreign trained medical doctors and dentists as a prerequisite to taking our registration examination. Institutionalize a career day for newly qualified medical and dental practitioners and physician assistants to facilitate the transition from education to practice, provide exposure to different practice settings, offer networking and mentoring opportunities, and enable career advancement and specialization. And finally, to provide technical support to other West African countries to strengthen their medical and dental regulatory frameworks in the areas of licensing, accreditation, and quality assurance. Additionally, uh, Chairman, the Minister of Health, through the leadership of the Honorable Minister, with funding support from the World Bank, is helping us to construct a specialist training center in line with the Council's goal to boost local training of doctors and dentists. Council is also pursuing support from other development partners to undertake other priority activities of the board, including the development of a scope of practice guidance document for all medical and dental practitioners, which would delimit what they can do and what they cannot do. To develop a supervision model for physician assistants and to conduct quality assessment of housemanship and physician internship to be able to monitor and track knowledge and skills acquisition and their welfare. Mr. Chairman, the council this year, working together with the deans of public medical schools, increased intake to the accredited public, public medical and dental schools from a total of 960 doctors and dentists a year to 1,230 for the 2022-2023 academic year. After conducting emergency inspections, to the under-listed med accredited medical and dental schools, the University of Ghana Medical School for Medical Program, the School of Medical Sciences, University of Cape Coast, Medicine, University for Development Studies, School of Medicine, Tamale, School of Medicine and Dentistry, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Medicine and Dentistry, University of Health and Allied Sciences, School of Medicine, who. Council also inspected and accredited a new medical school, the College of Medicine and Allied Sciences, Commerce, for graduate entry medical program, and re-accredited the School of Medical Sciences, University of Cape Coast, and the University for Development Studies School of Medicine, Tamale. These accreditations, Mr. Chairman, led to the creation of 270 additional training spaces for doctors and dentists in this country. To translate it, this actually translates to the admissible capacity of three existing training institutions. If you take the population to training capacity of UDS, Comas, and Accra College of Medicine. So we brought on board through your leadership, Mr. Chairman, 270 additional training slots. Furthermore, Mr. Chairman, Council has created an indexing portal. After these safe training levels had been mutually agreed, and this portal allows accredited medical and dental and physician assistant training institutions to upload 
the list of admitted students onto the portal. This means that institutions can only upload the approved maximum number of training onto the portal. This serves to ensure that training institutions admit numbers they can safely train and can quality assure the product at the end of training, thereby ensuring that we not only increase access, but we do so responsibly whilst upholding international training standard as set by the council. Dear inductees, you will be required to sign the provisional registration certificate, which gives you the legal authority to commence your housemanship. The occasion is also to afford you newly qualified practitioners the opportunity to interact with senior members of the profession. You had a session yesterday on the ethics and law that govern our practice. It therefore behoves you to be fully aware of your responsibilities during housemanship. And remember that council will continue to monitor and track your performance as house officers in Ghana. While on behalf of the management of council, I congratulate our newly qualified practitioners and welcome them to what is arguably the a noble, honorable, and the truly learned profession of medicine, they must, however, remember that great professional practice experience requires of them a gentle smile, a listening ear, a kind heart, calm nerves, a critical and reflective mind, an unalloyed commitment to lifelong learning, a humble, decent, gentle, and reassuring persona. All of these clothed in integrity and respect for human dignity. We wish to appreciate and acknowledge in a very special way the support of our mother ministry, the Ministry of Health and our minister, the Parliamentary Select Committee on Health, our partners, Ghana Health Service, Christian Health Association of Ghana, the deans and directors of accredited training institutions, CEOs and medical directors of our accredited facilities for housemanship and PA internship, and our board management and the staff of council, our professional associations who have worked with us throughout this year, and our development partners, in particular, funding support from WHO, World Bank, and also Foreign Commonwealth and Development of Office of the UK, USAID, the media, and all other stakeholders. Finally, Mr. Chairman, Al Haji Hafiz Adam, Chief Director, ladies and gentlemen, you are all warmly welcome to this very important ceremony. I hope you will enjoy our program and we thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Can we give the registrar a bigger applause? Thank you, Dr. Divine Banyubala, for the wonderful update of the various activities undertaken by the council. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we please have a song from President King Youth Choir?
Thank you, President King Youth Choir. Chairman of the Ten Board of the Medical and Dental Council. Honorable Minister for Health, ably represented by Al Haji Hafiz Adam. Members of the Ten Board, distinguished personalities, it's now time for the roll call of inductees. And once again, I invite the registrar to do us the honor. Shall we please welcome Dr. Divine Banyubala. Thank you very much, Mr. PJ. A few rules around the roll call. Our inductees are being invited into a sector that is teamwork based. So we share the joys of a successful outcome. So the inductees are seated in roles. And we're going to start to call their names in the I know that relatives, family, friends are so excited that they want to start. The temptation is to start to applaud. Please resist that temptation at that point. When we call the last person in that cohort, that is when we will invite all of us to recognize the great things that God has done in our lives. But before you hear the last name, it will be preceded with, and before the, that doctor's name will come. Then it is only after that that we will have Thunderous applause. So let me try and see. I'm taking myself as the last doctor on the cohort. So my dear audience, 
and Dr. Divine Banyubala. Fantastic. Thank you so, so much. Respectfully, Chairman of the 10th Board, Dr. Mami Akosua Ayensua Abebio. No, for start. Should I say yellow card or red card? Thank you. So, Dr. Mami Akosua Ayensua Abebio, Dr. Paulina Opoku Abankwa, Dr. Musa Abdul Waris, Dr. Michael Akosa Abwaji. Dr. Stephen Kese Abwaji, Dr. Sukena Abubakari, Dr. Larissa Yajira Abude, Dr. Berenice Mbosomi Abugre, Dr. Paul Echao, Dr. Angel Abina Tiwa Achampong, Dr. Deborah Akwa, Dr. Gloria Ayoko Adade, Dr. Hibatu Adam, Dr. Aisha Fadila Adamu, Dr. Gideon Tekwete Adano, Dr. Lydia Adai, Dr. Ruben Kwesi Ador, Dr. Reni Judy Achre Ajayi, Dr. Alvin Ajanyo, Dr. Mami Fowa Eje Benefo, Dr. Karen Na Ajele Aje. Dr. Samuel Edu Boahim, Dr. Courage Edu Adi, Dr. Jimama Ajua Edu Afawua, Dr. Jennifer Edu Afawua, Dr. Winifred Maulawe Apedo, Dr. Nana Chewa Baba Aferi, Dr. Belinda Delali Efia Demenyo, Dr. J. John Ama Afo Agbanu, Dr. Akufu Ransford Ajapon, and Dr. Emmanuel Odro Ajapon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Nikel Abrakwa Ejari, Dr. Francisca Aji, Dr. Abigail Jamra Ejikum, Dr. Pesios Ose Ejiman, Dr. Emmanuel Dansu Ajan, Dr. John Klimakus Egua, Dr. Erica Vivian Ahiapopo, Dr. Josiah Ajayu, Dr. Becky Bianca Dede Akiti, Dr. Amidat Emerald Akugan, Dr. Ethia Ajman Akosa, Dr. Prince Akoto, Dr. Benis Delali Akbaliga, Dr. Peace Aboyam Akunya, Dr. Delasi Ekia Echia Jamson, Dr. Esther Yeboa Echia Mensa, Dr. Najat Ahmed Ali, Dr. Harif Ali Samba, Dr. Rachel Kwating Amanen, Dr. Gehat Amankwa, Dr. Lois Na Ahine Amakwe, Dr. Moira Salet Ajwa Amedo, Dr. Jennifer Aku Amegashi Chi, Dr. Hayford Kofi Amenanu, Dr. Petronella Amen Lema, Amen Lema, Dr. Petronella Amen Lema, Dr. Daniel Mawedem Kweku Amenu Veve, Dr. Elijah Ayram Kwesi Amenu Veve, Dr. Cindy Abelwune Amia, 
Dr. Rich Melly, Efua Jamina Amwa, Dr. Princess Pinaman Amwa Adakwa, Dr. Wendy Dufie Amwakun, Dr. Christopher Pa Kojo Amwaku Ata, Dr. Jimama Amwaku, Dr. Pamela Bumbuni Amwaku, Dr. Marilyn Amu Ama Dapa, Dr. Beryl Mami Ifia Afra Amufa, and Dr. Emmanuel Ni Amon Amon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chairman, respectful mayor, at this point, invite my deputy to continue with the list. He has a much more enchanting voice. Thank you very much, Registrar. Respectfully, Chair, please, I will take, I will take off from where the Registrar left off. Dr. Enam Yao Ampim. Dr. Daniel Amponsa, Dr. Caroline Aparima Anaba, Dr. Alberta Anyati, Dr. Irefua Bosompim Anderson, Dr. Emmanuel Kwesi Enim, Dr. Kelvin Buama Enim, Dr. Antonia Ano. Dr. Agnes Oforua Ansa, Dr. Dennis Esumadu Ansa, Dr. Nani Kofi Bafuo Ansa, Dr. Kwabna Ansu Treme, Dr. Roderick Basil Nana Amwakun Anthony, Dr. Frederick Ni Ofinam Entry. Dr. Kweku Frimpon, Entry. Dr. Nana Esi Segua, Anyen. Dr. Emmanuel Yabua Apieni. Dr. Sechibia Apentin, Techiakon. Dr. Maranatha Utiwa Apia. Dr. Vanessa Nana Jama Apia. Dr. Abna Dede Apia Ansa. Dr. Joseph Apia Kubi. Dr. Nana Ahine, Dr. Na Ahine Shida Ama. Dr. Hilda Jennifer Asante. Dr. Juan Asante. Dr. Kevin Papakojo Asante. Dr. Gifty Yabua Asari. Dr. Deborah Asal Asaliwe Aseyuro, Dr. Berlin Lidiana Okaile Ashley, Dr. Bright Esiedu, and Dr. Sarah Ansa Esiedu. All right, thank you very much. Please have your seat. Dr. Kakra Kuramwa Atakra, Dr. Esperanza A.C. Atiyonu, Dr. Lordina Sophia Aubin, Dr. Esther Awuno Williams, Dr. Daniel Oluwa, Tufar Oluwa Tufarati Awoyade, Dr. Sheila Winime Awuga, Dr. Benjamin Ewuku Bequin, Dr. Audrey MFA Awute, Dr. Eric Tete, Dr. Tete Ayete, Dr. Daryl Andre Ayete, Dr. Darius Aivo, Dr. Malcolm Yabwin Azinim, Dr. Benson Seli Azuma, Dr. Claudia Ba, Dr. Ivy Dorinda Ba, Dr. Alberta Abna Bewa, 
Dr. Humu Baba, Dr. Roland Badu, Dr. Mami Krama Bafo Ewa, Dr. Marlin Abba Ahima Beidu, Dr. Theophilos Opoku Bampo, Dr. Brian Lame Barina, Dr. Raiza Mami Efua Sechiwa Beduado, Dr. Ani Sarah Benson Tambo, Dr. Andy Chris Mauto Binka, Dr. Kevin Eko Blay, Dr. Gloria Boahima Boahin, Dr. Martin Kweku Jesse Boache, Dr. Lawrence Ababio Boatin, Dr. Matilda Tewia Boatin, Dr. Richmond Kwabina Boatin, Dr. Rocklin Ogusua Boatin, Dr. Priscilla Chanel Boatin Tufo, Dr. Alexander Kakari Bonsu, Dr. Laura Sifa Bosompim, Dr. Bert Ekol Bosu, Dr. Emmanuel Botre, Dr. Daniel Brabi, Dr. Prepra Frimpon Bright, and Dr. Michael Nana Kofi Bruce. Please have your seat. Dr. Yasmin Aminatu Buari, Dr. Angel Gregory Bully. Dr. Leroy Kelvin Nika Coleman. Dr. Maria Na Anyama Kokwe. Dr. Richard Dick Kujo. Dr. Sandel Derepong Dakura. Dr. Jeffrey Adumako Dankwa. Dr. Clementia Christabel Dansua. Dr. Jerome Teladem Denu. Dr. Christabel Dapa Ado, Dr. Resford Dasan, Dr. Caroline Senam Dunwemi, Denwemi, Dr. Michael Disosa, Dr. Binatari Diriyai, Dr. Abna Echian Jabin, Dr. Delali John Pierre Dogbevi, Dr. Deladem Kojodo, Dr. Limuel Mauli Domenu, Dr. Juliet Nusienyon Esi Dumashi, Dr. Winston Senam Jansi, Dr. Charles Bright Dijonu, Dr. Samuel Digba Jr. Dr. David Mauli Jujo, Dr. Jemima Eliojo Ekele, Dr. Cordelia Ellis, Dr. Nana Ama Kwejuwa Amwatin Eni, Dr. Michael Kwesi Adum Esau, Dr. Jason Nyamedia Esau, Dr. Emanuela Nana Fusia Esilfi, Dr. Rosie Esilfi, Dr. Yao Achi Jinia Esuman, Dr. Ahmed Ibn Faida, and Dr. Emmanuel Dalali Fayose. Thank you very much. Please have your seats. Dr. Akwesi Frimpon Asante, Dr. Seleli Aku Selasi Akuyo Bekle, Dr. Eunice Chereba Gansa, Dr. Emmanuel Korbonzi Gani, Dr. Efriye Nana Ama Jesse, Dr. Desmond Bafuo Jima, Dr. Saida Hafiz, Dr. Philip Hansen, 
Dr. Yvonne Harley, Dr. Yusif Bagaya Haruna, Dr. Abubakar Ibrahim, Dr. Amina Ibrahim, Dr. Damata Ibrahim Day, Dr. Osariemen Frances Idemudia, Dr. Arabna Zoe Aidan, Dr. Zaid Imoru, Dr. Sharon Chinre Insinguzo, Dr. Mohammed Hafiz Isahaku, Dr. Mariam Kalim Ahmed, Dr. Joshua Waliu Kamal, Dr. Naibari Blessing Kane, Dr. Brittany Kankam, Dr. Leticia Kantuwini, Dr. Yvonne Kavianu, Dr. Theodora Kennedy Smith, Dr. George Harold Kitson Mills, Dr. Nana Esi Kondia, Dr. Jonathan Ni Opoti Kone, Dr. Wendy Ama Prantin, Dr. Rena Krobo, sorry, Dr. Kro, Dr. Rena Krobo Edusei, Dr. Wilsonia Krofa, Dr. Noor Senyon Kumade, Dr. Courage Adam Kuma, Dr. Mami Awoyo Kuma, Dr. Loretta Sani Kumi, Dr. Isaac Stevenson Kungo, Dr. Efua Pokua Kwachi, Dr. Wilson Jogbenuye Kwame, Dr. Emmanuel Kotoy Kwashi, and Dr. Abel Tache Ousia. Thank you. Please have your seats. Dr. Akosia Ofebia Che Yamua. Dr. Nanakofi Poku Chreme. Dr. David Plola Kekeli Labada. Dr. Alexia Latele Lawson. Dr. Stephanie Senram Ama Lecha. Dr. Fridaus Nibani Mahama, Dr. Pius Manamzo, Dr. Benedict Marfo, Dr. Nushin Mariam, Dr. Chelsea Nuefe Mausi, Dr. Rhoda Masubo Magjones Tenge, Dr. Juanita Erequa Mens Armstrong, Dr. Abraham Kweku Mensa, Dr. Emmanuel Osei Mensa, Dr. Helen Mensa, Dr. Jeffrey Mensa, Dr. Maxine Suzette Mills, Dr. Queen Na Odale Mills, Dr. Edgar Gwelam Mogheri, Dr. Abdul Wadub Muhammad, Dr. Charlotte Nikwe Martin, Dr. Anadel Lindsay Mwafo Tuenu, Dr. Habib Ahmed Rufai Mushedin, Dr. Abdul Wahab Wumbe Muniru, Dr. Gertrude Okaile Nikwe. Dr. Nana Ansu Nimo Bafo, Dr. Barbara Erua Abna, Dr. Erua Abna Akufua Nensen, Dr. Na Nwekite Noi, Dr. Douglas Insian, Dr. Nana Kwejo Inti, Dr. Velma Ofebia Into Jeu, Dr. Seda Nuzat, Dr. Sandra Nyame, 
and Dr. Akwesi Ajmendia Nyame. Thank you very much. Please have your seats. Dr. Doreen Nana Ama Nyameche. Dr. Doreen Efua Ejewa Nyakun. Dr. Nico Zoe Obuobisa. Dr. George Yofi Okran. Dr. Abna Tiwa Odame. Dr. Eunice Kakra Ofei. Dr. Janet Kumiwa Ofei Osai. Dr. Kelvin Tete Ofo. Dr. Maxwell Dakun Ofosu. Dr. Tracy Oforibia Ofosu. Dr. Nana Fosuya Ofosu Boateng. Dr. Edwin Morgan Ogo Jr. Dr. Rena Ohimen. Dr. Jacqueline Oko Lati. Dr. Onyinye Ann Okoli. Dr. Jude Otre Ajekum. Dr. Henrita Dede Naki Ologo. Dr. Ayomide Deborah Olojo. Dr. Ifiolua Wisdom Olusengu. Dr. Foluke Joy Oluyemi. Dr. Smart Nana Ominakum. Dr. Daniel Ifa Opoku. Dr. Lady Queen Ampoma Opoku. Dr. Rima Nana Kwami Opoku. Say, Dr. Nathalie or say. Dr. Deborah Erabna Osei Ejei. Dr. Lovelace Osei Efriye. Dr. Richard Osei Asamoa. Dr. Godson Osei Poku. Dr. Felicity Nabil Otin. Dr. Cecilia Utiwa. Dr. Stephanie Chiaki Otute. And... Dr. Eben Kwabna in Kansa Oredu. Thank you very much. Please have your seats. Dr. Ethan Michael Owu. Dr. Bright Owuba Asante. Dr. Melody Tony Owusu. Dr. Emanuela Owusu. Dr. Nana Akosuya Henewa Owusu, Dr. Harold Owusu Techi, Dr. Lucy Ama Owusuwa, Dr. Evelyn Dibodi Paha, Dr. Kobna Pimpa, Dr. Nana Amasa Pokujumo, Dr. Maranatha Adiki Puplampu, Dr. Ivan Philip Ni Kwatilai Kwate, Dr. Reina Rabiu, Dr. Nasiba Tu Razak, Dr. Alam Tuntia Sani, Dr. Sharon Ruth Saki, Dr. Hamdia Ali Samba, Dr. Francis Sanchibe, Dr. Wanda Safu Ansa, Dr. Godfred Boateng Sarkodie, Dr. Samuel Sasrakumensa, Dr. Karin Nanaya Sesenyo, Dr. Walali Dennis Sokwe, Dr. Enesina Wilhelmina Na Ayoko Sowa, Dr. Jokibed Adwa Sutherland, Dr. Angel Lebene Tamaklo, Dr. Karen Tamo Tatieche, 
Dr. Maureen Ajekumwa Tinkran, Dr. Margaret Elsie Dede Ajo Tete, Dr. Michael Nee Adote Thompson, Dr. Forsen Chumasi, and Dr. Quinsta Oforiwa Chumasi. Thank you very much for agreeing to do the most difficult part. every single tenet of the oath that you are going to take. Chairman, respectfully, I see no movement out of the hall. I therefore respectfully submit to you 327 newly qualified doctors and dentists to be respectfully admitted into the professions of medicine and dentistry. Respectfully submitted, Chairman. You please place your right hands over your hearts and say after me. You will first say I, followed by your name, and then continue as I read what I have. I, 
as a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I'll practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I'll honor, I'll foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I'll give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of health care. I'll attend to my own health well-being and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I'll make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations. You continue to remain standing as we invite the Chief Director, Alhaji Hafiz Adam, to lead you in the National Pledge. Good morning. The National Pledge. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us. Through the blood and toil of our fathers, and I pledge myself in all things to uphold, to defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. Shall we all be outstanding, please?
You may please have your seat. And can we give them a very big applause? Congratulations to you all. The latest doctors in town. Can we make it better, please? Mr. Chairman, may I have your permission to introduce some dignitaries who have graced this occasion without any particular order? May I recognize the presence of the following? We have the medical director for Tema General Hospital in the person of Dr. Richard Anthony. We also have the head of administration and support services from Pentecost Hospital in the person of Vida Invida. We have the deputy head MIS Pharmacy Council in the person of Mrs. Rosemond Edu Opong. We have the vice president for Accra College of Me Medicine in the person of Reverend Professor Adukwe Hesse. We have the chair of family medicine of the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, and also from University of Health and Allied Sciences, in the person of Reverend Professor Achi Esuman. We also have the chair of ophthalmology, Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons, and also from the University of Ghana Medical School, in the person of Professor Mrs. Vera Adubia Esuman. We have former president of GACI in the person of Dr. Christian K. Amenuveve. We also have with us the head of Department of Surgery for 37 Military Hospital in the person of Dr. Seth Ajay Ajete. We have the Dean School of Medicine University of Health and Allied Sciences, in the person of Professor Frank Edwin. We have a senior lecturer from Accra College of Medicine, in the person of Anis Hafa. We have the Dean, School of Family Health Medical School, in the person of Dr. Fletcher Joleto. From University of Ghana Medical School, a senior lecturer and deputy coordinator for MDC examination in the person of Dr. Emmanuel Promise Sefoga. We have the head of ENT department, School of Medicine, University for Development Studies, in the person of Professor Theophilus Justice Kofi Ajeso. We have the head of an institution in the, from St. Luke's Hospital, Kase, in the person of Dr. John Odro Boatin. We have the medical superintendent for Holy Family Hospital in Koko, in the person of Dr. Edu Poku Enki. We also have with us the Dean, University of Ghana Medical School, in the person of Professor Alfred Yorsin. We have the medical director for Agogo Presby Hospital in the person of Dr. Kennedy Opoku. We have the head 
medical superintendent for Ga East Medic Municipal Hospital in the person of Dr. Mrs. Rosanna Segbowocho. Thank you very much. We'll continue as and when they come. Professor Chairman, the Chief Director, Alhaji Afis Adam, members of the high table, invited guests. It's now time to take the address of the Honorable Chairman. Shall we please welcome Professor P.K. Nyame as he presents to us his address. The applause is too feeble. Good morning. The Honorable Minister, represented by the Chief Director, Alaji Adam, members of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, members of university faculties and administration here present, hospital administrative executives, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor as chairman of the Medical and Dental Council to usher in 327 new doctors and dentists into their professions in Ghana. With today's induction ceremony, the council has inducted a total of 1,082 practitioners this year, 2023, the year of our Lord. These new practitioners have come from seven universities and colleges in Ghana and several foreign institutions in China, Russia, Ukraine, Cuba, and other countries. Ghana is producing a respectable number of doctors, although we are quite some way from the WHO recommended doctor-patient ratio. These improved numbers have been possible through the encouraging and enabling policies of government, the dedication of faculty and staff of the various institutions, the regulatory superintendents of the Medical and Dental Council, and the sacrifice in financial support of, patient, of parents. For the parents, I borrow a piece of Aristotle on education. Those who educate children those who educate children well are more to be honored than those who produce them. For these only gave life those the art of living. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the bounding duty of my council to pursue excellence in medical and dental education in the practice of the professions. Even in the selection of students to pursue these learned professions, we are guided by elements of Hippocrates' second law, namely a natural disposition, love for labor, and perseverance, a natural talent, and the appropriate qualification, unfailingly, including science from high school or pre-med. A number of wannabe doctors who have trained outside our borders, some with insufficient backgrounds and training, discover to their chagrin deficiencies when they take our pre-registration examination. In the near future, the council will entertain for registration only those who show evidence of a background in science. Aiming at excellence, the council insists on quality from the training institutions through rigorous accreditation procedures, which are continual over the years. We expect that quality should be an ongoing habit and not one act for a purpose. Private schools will be encouraged but may not proliferate merely with the aim of profit. Pressure from investors for accreditation be they local or foreign investors, may prove futile if the standards for accreditation are not satisfied. For example, we prefer full-time faculty. Laboratory and other teaching facilities must be adequate 
assessment of students by whatever acceptable methods must be beyond reproach and beyond external influence. The prescribed number of students for admission may not be exceeded. There are no ifs, ends, or buts about this, as the council will ensure that admitted students have the opportunity to be exposed to the expected quality of education and training. Ladies and gentlemen, a South African university is explicit about maintaining standards. And I quote, destroying any nation does not require the use of atomic bombs or the use of long range missiles. It only requires lowering the quality of education and allowing cheating in examinations by students. Patients die at the hands of such doctors. Buildings collapse at the hands of such engineers. Money is lost at the hands of such economists and accountants. Humanity dies at the hands of such religious scholars. Justice dies at the hands of such judges. The collapse of education is the collapse of the nation. It should be an advantage in the process of accreditation for a prospective new institution to have its own hospital, not relying on the same public hospitals, some of which are really crowded by the enlarged intakes of existing institutions. The advantage of the increased number of hospitals to students in training, patients, and the general public would be salutary. Hospitals of high standards are key to the practical training of doctors. Ladies and gentlemen, at the last congregation of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, it was heartwarming to learn from the vice president of our country that government will support KNUSD financially to complete the university hospital embarked upon a few years ago in Kumasi. This will be a welcome sister institution of the now functional UGMC, that is the University of Ghana Medical Center at Legon in Accra. Ladies and gentlemen, a university hospital is a brand name from which excellence is expected in three sectors, service, teaching, and research. Service delivered by, must be at the highest level by personnel with expertise and experience in the craft. The staff sourcing tends to include top local personnel, but also foreign experts if necessary. Their collective expertise is eclectic. The university hospitals must should aim to provide the opportunity
students, and indeed all humanity. But most poignantly, a human feeling for patients in their hour of need. Do your best to cure if possible. But be the good, the high, lowly, and the destitute. Comfort and console all. Do not let avarice and meanness drive you away from the lofty ideals of the noble profession. Be persons of integrity. Let us aim at excellence in all our endeavors. My dear friends, accept my congratulations on your induction into an old, learned, and noble profession. I wish you a successful career. God bless you. God bless Ghana. And finally, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Can we do it better for the chairman? <laughs> Professor Chairman, with your permission, and my apologies to those that did not recognize, um, there were some names behind the sheet which I couldn't see at that time, so sorry about that. May I have the uh, permission to introduce to you a member of the Council of State in the person of Professor Ato Esuman. We also have with us the Executive Director for Yoko in the person of Mrs. Mami Yatiwa Adodankwa. Shall we wait? We also have the Dean, University of Ghana Dental School, in the person of Professor Sandra Hewlett. <laughs> Representing the Registrar of the Nursing and Midwifery Council. Shall we give it up to Mrs. Gloria Simpon? <laughs> I want to be sure. Representing the Director for Human Resource for Development is Mr. Lawrence Lawson. Thank you very much. Today, your applause is too feeble. It's now time for words of advice, and I have the singular honor to call on Professor Ernest York to advise our newly qualified practitioners. They say your applause is weak. <laughs> or you are going to hypoglycemia. I guess so. And thank you, Ms. MC, for your kind introduction. And Mr. Chairman, the Director of the Ministry of Health, Alaji Hafiz Adam, the board members of the 10th Board of the Council, the Register of the Council, Dr. Divan Banyubala, the deans of the various medical schools here gathered, the lecturers and teachers, invited guests, parents, inductees, and everybody, including the press here gathered. Thank you for asking me to do this on behalf of the board. And I'm now speaking to the newly minted doctors. Let me say congratulations. And congratulations on your completing of your medical education and becoming a newly qualified doctor. It is a significant accomplishment. And now that you are entering a profession that comes with both great responsibility and immense rewards, Kindly pay attention to these words from me. And I think you deserve another round of applause. <laughs> so,
So these pieces of advice will help you navigate this exciting and challenging phase of your career. So I've catching them into little bits. Um, so the first one is to never stop learning. Medicine is a constantly evolving field. So stay curious and committed to lifelong learning. Your patients have now Dr. Google, which has changed and advanced now to chat GPT, you know, so, and it's related AI tools. So what you need to do is to keep up with latest research and information, take the opportunity or use the opportunity of your housemanship to attend conferences and participate in continued medical education to stay at the forefront of medical knowledge. That way, your knowledge will up to date, your patients will love you, and your practice will blossom. Communication is key as a doctor because it's a human-human interaction. Develop, develop strong communication skills, be empathetic, listen actively to your patients, and clearly convey your information to them. Avoid the use of jargons and big English. Yes, we know you have the degrees, you know, but please break it down to our level so that we can understand and appreciate what you're saying. So speak in the language that your patients will understand because effective communication is crucial in building trust with patients, their families, and your colleagues. Know that medicine is a team-based profession. So collaborate with your other healthcare uh, uh, practitioners that you work with, the nurses, the pharmacists, um, the support staff. And a collaborative approach enhances patient care and creates a positive work environment um, for you to work in. You also learn a great deal with this approach. Admit it when you don't know. It is okay not to have all the answers. If we are unsure by a diagnosis or treatment plan, don't hesitate to seek advice from colleagues, senior colleagues, specialists. Patient safety always should be at the top priority. After all, even your professors, those are some, of you, some of them are gathered here, do not know it all. Okay, so just be humble and admit that you don't know and seek, take the necessary steps. In support of that is to be open to feedback and learning from your mistakes. What it is is that constructive feedback is essential for professional growth. Be open to receiving feedback from your colleagues, your supervisors, and even patients. Use it as a tool for improvement rather than as criticism. Mistakes happen. What is important is that you learn from them. Take responsibility, make amends, and when possible, use these experiences as an opportunity for growth. And this is important to me and it's dear to my heart. Prioritize self-care and life or work-life balance. We work a lot. The demands of a medical career can be intense, but it is crucial to take care of your physical and mental well-being. This will ultimately make you more effective and a fulfilled physician. Take care of yourself physically, emotionally, mentally. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, and activities that will bring you joy are crucial for maintaining well-being in a high-stress profession. I want to repeat, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and activities that bring you joy are crucial for maintaining your well-being in a high-stress environment. Doctors, have, have time for yourself. You invite them to outdoors, they spend one hour, and they are going for locums. You invite them to funerals after church service, they shake hands, and they are gone. They won't sit down to even take a more to drink. Now strive to maintain a health work balance. Remember that what the current Hippocratic, Hippocratic oath says. Permit me to quote Mr. Chairman, and he mentioned it uh, whilst he was administering the oath, that I will attend to my own health, well-being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. Have you heard? It didn't used to be there. But over time, it's been recognized that 
you know, physicians or doctors in general, healthcare practitioners, at higher risk of work-related distress, and that impacts, you know, on what you do and the outcomes. A lot of suicidal tendencies and mental health challenges. So please make sure that you attend to these pearls that I'm giving you this morning. And then stay ethical. You had your ethics seminars yesterday. You had some while you were in school, but it will end after today. It has to be a lifelong attitude to uphold the highest ethical standards, patient confidentiality, informed consent, and honesty are non-negotiable principles. Always act in the best interest of your patients. You will stay out of trouble if you let these be your guiding principles. And then find mentors at your workplace and in your social circles. Seek out mentors who can guide you in your career Experienced mentors can provide valuable insights, advice, and support as you navigate this challenge or complexities of medicine. And celebrate your achievements, whether big or small, and acknowledge its positive impact or the positive impact that you make on patients or in the lives of your patients and find joy in your accomplishments. And finally, again, is one of my crucial things I want you to go away with stay humble you were a doctor you know automatically you are ushered into the middle class patients will come begging pleading in so many ways society will do so but in all of this make sure that you stay humble medicine is a humbling profession no matter how experienced you become always approach each patient and case with humility remember that there's always more to learn it sometimes amazes me, and that's frank truth, to see young doctors abusing patients and talking to them, their relatives, in a manner that is very unprofessional. And I'm sure if their teachers saw them doing that, they would not be proud of their products. But let me kindly remind you that the authority to practice is derived from the state. And on behalf of the people of this country, or wherever you find yourself practicing. And this authority can be withdrawn anytime. I hope you understand. Let me go over. The authority to practice medicine is derived from the states on behalf of the people, and that this authority can be withdrawn anytime. So in conclusion, Mr. Chairman and my dear colleagues, remember that you are embarking on a journey that will be both challenging and incredibly rewarding. Your dedication to well-being of others is commendable, and your commitment to continuous improvement will serve you throughout your career. And on this note, I say congratulations again, and the best of luck. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Dr. Oh, can we do it better, please? Thank you, Professor Ernest York. Ladies and gentlemen, may I acknowledge the presence of the immediate past director of medical affairs at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in the person of Dr. Ali Samba. Thank you for coming. We've been sitting for long. It is now time for our newly qualified practitioners to show us their dancing skills. So we are calling on President King Youth Choir to give us some wonderful melodious songs so that we can dance to the tunes as we stretch our legs. Thank you.
parents are also invited. Please calm down. Parents are also invited. You can join them. It's a joyous day.
Thank you. Thank you, President King Youth Choir. Ajemai. Thank you. Please have your seat. Indeed, it is time that we we'll give to God. For nothing we have to give to God. Please have your seats. Please have your seats. Don't go outside. Please have your Minister of Health. And that will be done by the Chief Director for the Ministry of Health in the person of Al Haji Hafiz Adams. Shall we please welcome him? Mr. Chairman, let me make a confession. I didn't know that doctors could dance like that. <laughs> And therefore, they, there's another profession waiting for them. They could establish um, churches in future. <laughs> um, chairman, with your indulgence, we began this session with a hymn, and I believe that it was in praise of God. But I knew that in the house of God, there are no Christians, there are no Muslims, and there are no Jews. And so I want us to continue with the praise of God by saying, if I say at takbir, you say Allahu Akbar. At takbir. At takbir. At takbir. Chairman of the 10th Board of the Council, Professor Paul Kwame Nyami. Member of Council of State present here. Members of the 10th Board of Council, Provost and Deans, Heads of Accredited Institutions for Housemanship and Internship. My good friend and brother from different mother, Registrar of the Medical and Dental Council, Dr. Banubala. He is a doctor. But he's also my counsel, he's a lawyer. And so I rely on him for legal advice. I have a friend here, Dr. Oduro Boatin. I have mentioned him because he is a royal from Techima. And I worked with him in a jura when I was the coordinating director. And he told me that he doesn't want to be a chief because of his dedication to the medical profession. That's why I'm mentioning him. Dr. Odru, can we see you?
He has paid his dues as far as the medical profession is concerned. That is why, because I was with him in a deprived area, and I'm sure he's still there. Yes. I'm very pleased and honored to address you on this August occasion. We are in December. I don't know why they say August occasion. <laughs> of the induction of some 327 newly qualified doctors and dentists into the profession of medicine and dentistry to augment the current strength of about 11,000 doctors and dentists serving in various capacities across the country. Inductees, may I take this opportunity to offer you all very well deserved hearty congratulations on your success. I further wish to commend your families, your guardians, and all who contributed to your success. And of course, I extend a special appreciation to your lecturers, your mentors, and the patients who kindly allowed you to learn through them. An important sacrifice not to be taken so lightly. Mr. Chair, I am particularly happy that the ministry is receiving into our fold another batch of freshly qualified doctors and dentists into the noble profession of medicine from the various medical institutions across the country. Mr. Chair, I'm aware that before the council can grant professional license to a doctor or a dentist to practice, your council needs to ensure that the doctor or dentist possesses the requisite professional knowledge and skills competence, abilities necessary for safe medical and dental practice in Ghana. Upon successful completing the mandated examinations within their respective training institutions and attaining the necessary qualifications, the council official welcomes the inductees into the esteemed and honorable profession on this auspicious occasion. Mr. Chair, ladies and gentlemen, my dear inductees, I wish to, uh, to touch on the issue of the attitude and conduct of healthcare professionals. Given the high esteem society holds for healthcare professionals, there is a rightful expectation of your corresponding high standard of professionalism and conduct. As a consequence, the object of counsel as provided for in the part two of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act, Act 2013, is to ensure and secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, often the, excite, the exciting specialized knowledge and success, if not properly managed, tends to result in a bloated egos and inconsiderate conduct and may make one lose his humanity. And I call this the capacity to take care of our human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, any keen follower of the healthcare sector would have noticed that recent media reportage is replete with claims of professional negligence, improper conduct, and unethical behavior by some of our doctors, not all, and dentists, as well as physicians, assistants, our nurses, pharmacists, and so on. The very people who openly swore their professional oaths like we have done today and committed themselves to serve us in our most vulnerable states are now our abusers. This is unacceptable. 
Mr. Chair, government is committed to ensuring that Ghanaians nationwide have access to quality healthcare services. In line with this, we have outlined some programs as has already been indicated by the Registrar of the Council. And among this is to ensure universal access to a better, efficiently managed and high quality primary health system. To reduce avoidable maternal child and adolescent deaths and disabilities as well as increase accessible access to responsive clinical and public health services. In accordance with my ministry's focus on issues of professionalism and institutional accountability, I am aware that the council is scheduled among others to develop minimum standards for the establishment of medical dental training institutions, to develop a supervision model following the lines of the scope of practice documents for all physicians and assistant practitioners. On that quality assessment of housemanship and physician assistance internship, on that stakeholder engagement workshops on council's fitness to practice policy. Mr. Chair, my dear inductees, our ministry wish to congratulate you, the council, for the signing of a memorandum of understanding with the World Health Organization effective January 2024 to develop a five-year strategic development plan based on in-depth assessment of medical and dental activities and mandates and ensuring alignment with key policy documents. The MOU will further develop modalities for the common examinations for both local and foreign medical and dental practitioners to develop syllabus for the registration of the exams and then redesign, restructure, and harmonize curricula for medical and dental training schools as well as institutionalize a compulsory pre-examination clinical attachment for foreign medical and dental students as a prerequisite for all foreign trained doctors and dentists who are seeking to take the council registration examination in Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Health and the council appreciate and acknowledge in a very, very special way, the funding support, the interest and commitment of our development partners, who include the World Health Organization, the World Bank, USAID, etc., and all our stakeholders. Our ministry humbly requests further the support of all stakeholders, especially other health partners, to advance the quality of medical and dental training and practice for our collective good as a nation. Mr. Chair, further, our minister looks forward to a long working relationship with these newly qualified doctors and dentists, but they must remember you must remember the oath that you have taken today. The pre-induction lectures in medical professionalism and conduct, professional ethics and medical jurisprudence that council organized for you and serve our people with diligence, integrity, dedication, and above all, respect. It is time for you to realize that you have moved out from the academia to real life situation. You have already been given some pieces of advice and I'm not going to belabor the point, but to let you know that you are now in the world of reality 
And so I'm going to give you one practical experience. My daughter, who is part of you, about two weeks ago, I was in town and I received a call from her. Apparently, she was arrested by a police for driving in the wrong direction. So she called me and I asked him, so what do you want me to do for you? So I asked her to handle the matter. In a moment, she called again that the police was speaking a language that she doesn't understand. And I said, that is the first lesson for you outside the medical school. So handle the police because you are now in the world of reality. And these are the experiences that you go through. And listen to this. One day, I was traveling with her when she was a kid. And then she was being naughty. Then I told her that I will let the police arrest her. Then she said that, 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 and I'll give her, him money. <laughs> this is just to tell you that there's difference between theory and practice. Whilst you have studied theory, now you have to combine the theory with practice. And many a time, you will call upon to think on your feet to find solution to save your own uh, life situation. Ladies and gentlemen, our ministry looks forward to a long-lasting relationship, as, as I have already said. And finally, we must not forget that your faith, you must not forget your faith in the practice of your chosen profession. No matter what you do, you need the guidance. You need the direction. You need the blessings of God before you can make it. After all, you are not the only intelligent person in this country, but you are here. And I believe it's part of God's guidance, blessings, and direction. So do not forget of your religion. Practice your religion to the best of your ability. On this note, on behalf of my Honorable Minister, and on my own behalf, I would like to once again congratulate you on your outstanding achievement. I thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Chief Director, for the Ministry of Health. It is now time for the vote of thanks, and that will be done by one of our newly qualified practitioners, the latest doctors in town, and the person of Stephanie Otu Tei. Shall we please welcome her as she gives us the vote of thanks? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, the Honorable Minister for Health, duly represented by Al Haji Haifa Adam, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm completely excited and thrilled to be here to speak on behalf of my 326 colleagues, to just give a message of thanks to everyone who has made our journey a success. Mr. Alfred North Whitehead once said, no one who achieves success does so without the help of others. The wise and confident acknowledge this with the help of gratitude. I believe that as newly inducted doctors, we desire to be wise and confident, and so we would like to begin by first of all appreciating the almighty God 
who made us and gave us this mission to become doctors to serve our country and the world at large. Secondly, I would like to appreciate the Medical and Dental Council of Ghana, who first of all ensure that we had access to the best of quality education and also ensure that we have been able to become the doctors we dreamed of becoming. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to our parents, our mummies and our daddies who have been with us through it all, paying enormous amounts of school fees, providing us with food, attention, clothing, buying all the handouts and supporting us in all diverse ways without ever complaining or blinking an eye. I would also like to appreciate our teachers, our professors, our doctors who sacrifice their time and energy, taking their time to teach us through world rounds, examination sessions, tutorials, and so many others to make sure that we became the doctors that we are today. I would also like to thank our country, our motherland, Ghana, Medical education is not cheap, but thanks to our country who has our interest at heart and the government of Ghana, it has been subsidized and as a result, we are able to afford to live our dreams. I would like to also say a big thank you. I would like to say a big thank you to the patient whom we prodded and pricked and turned and tossed in their beds. It's not easy being ill, and it is not even easy being used for experiments by medical students who do not know what they are doing. But without them, we would not be here today. Lastly, I would like to thank our families and our friends who also supported us in diverse ways with different words of encouragement, different efforts to ensure that we have been able to make it this far. Last but not least, my dearest colleagues, our freshly inducted medical doctors. Guess what? We made it. <laughs> it's been six years for some, seven years for others, and even eight or more for most of us, but we never gave up. We persisted, we relented, we held each other's hands, and today we are here carried on the shoulders of everyone who has been with us through it all. Pat yourselves on the back and say thank you to yourself because you've done it. Since we are from numerous institutions, I believe we'd like to represent ourselves through our languages spoken in Ghana. From UCC, we say Yadahumase. From KNUS2 is not represented here, we still say Yadahumase. From UDS, we say Tapaya. <laughs> from UG, we also say Oyuwaladon. <laughs> and from UHAS, we say Akpe. Thank you very much. And so we also thank you for thanking us. Yeah. At this moment, I would like all the newly qualified practitioners to be upstanding. And just drop everything on their chair. Just put everything down. We want to give a very big one to our parents who pay their fees. So to all parents, let's go. Who pay their fees? We thank you. It's a dream come true. You've made us doctors. We thank you for the sponsorship. Your friend mentioned only the handout. You may have your seat. She only mentioned the handout. She never mentioned the illegal charges. The books we've never heard before. The project work that was never done. Right? We have to go to coffee room for this, but it's non-existing. True or false? Okay, I know. Thank you, parents, for paying the legal and the illegal fees. We are grateful. It's a dream come true. We thank you all. We also like to acknowledge and thank CES, 
Are you there? Just give me a wave. Yeah. They are streaming live all our events. So after the program, you may go to our Facebook page or our YouTube page, and then you can still watch all our inductions there. They are all loaded, and it's live now as we speak. We also want to say thank you to President King for the wonderful songs. They've been with us. Next year will be 10 years. From 2014, April. So next year, April will be 10 years. And they have been the so choir from April 2014 to date. They have represented at every induction, big or small. Can we give it to them again, President King Youth Choir? Okay, so Stephanie gave it to her colleagues. I also want to give it to my team. It has been a sleepless night. We've also made it once again. Team registration, team MDC, to the management members, staff, and everybody at Medical and Dental Council who supported in diverse ways to have this wonderful event. We are so grateful, and we thank you. We thank you, and we thank you again as a family. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program. Our invited guests will recess with our board. And after that, our newly qualified practitioners will remain standing for one or two announcements. We've come to the end of the program. We wish you a merry, wonderful Christmas and prosperous new year. My name is APJ, Head of Registration, Medical and Dental Council. Shall we please be on our feet as we take the closing hymn? Land of our birth, sixth to eighth stanzas. The sixth to eighth stanzas. continue to remain standing as we have the recession of the members of the high table and our dignitaries. <laughs> 